Hugging a baby doll can sometimes soothe even the most upset toddler, and some researchers say it can do the same for adults with dementia. Doll therapy is catching on at nursing homes, but as Anna Gorman reports, not everybody thinks this is a good idea. Vivian Kozowski is 88 and has Alzheimer's disease. She's holding a baby doll dressed in puppy dog pajamas. Hello, gorgeous. <laughs> oh, you're so cute. She lives on a secure floor at Sunrise Senior Living in Beverly Hills. Caregiver Jessica Butler sits down beside her and they sing to the doll. You are my sunshine, my only sunshine. You make it Nearly every day, Gozowski visits a pretend nursery at the home. She changes the doll's clothes or lays him down for a nap. She says she goes there for one reason. Because I love babies. And that's it. And I do have some very nice ones back when I live now in my room. Her caregivers don't know if Kozowski believes she's holding a doll or a real baby. But they do know that the doll helps her when she gets agitated. Vladimir Kaplan is the former director of dementia care at the home. She's able to stay calm. She's able to, uh, to, to have a conversation. Seniors with dementia often get bored, angry, or even violent. Senior centers and nursing homes are using doll therapy to both comfort their residents and prevent outbursts. Kaplan says other places may handle aggression differently. The solution is not to give them a doll. The solution is to give them an Ativan. That's an anxiety medication that critics say is overused in nursing homes. But not all elder care providers support doll therapy. Some see it as demeaning. Gary Mitchell is a nurse in the UK who recently wrote a book about doll therapy. It can be considered as treating people with dementia uh, like children, um, and that perpetuates a lot of stigma with dementia care that we're trying to get away from. Studies on doll therapy are limited, but show it can lessen anxiety, improve communication, and reduce the need for drugs. Mitchell says it can also evoke long-buried memories. For some people living with dementia, it, it's, it's life-changing. At Sunrise Beverly Hills, the nursery is set up like a baby's room with a crib and changing table. There's a toy xylophone and a Dr. Seuss book. Kaplan says the idea is to give residents something to do and talk about. What were your baby's names? How did you pick your baby's names? What are some of the best things about being a mom? Another resident, 87-year-old Mary Lou Roos, is in a wheelchair and rarely speaks. She can't take part in many activities anymore, but she can hold the dolls. But I'm really tired. This morning, Butler hands Roos a doll wrapped in a blanket. Roos pats him on the You're back and gives him a kiss. You're doing a good job holding the baby. Boy. A boy, yeah. Baby boy. Caring for babies is second nature to Roos. Her daughter, Ellen Swart, said her mom did everything for her five children. She volunteered at the school. She did Girl Scouts with us. She was on the PTA. So very involved in raising us. Swart said the progression of Alzheimer's has been hard. Her mother hasn't called her by name in over a year. To see the light in her eyes when she has a baby in her arms, I don't care if it's real or not or if it's pretending. If that gives her comfort, I'm a-okay with it. Swart says all that matters to her is that the doll makes her mom happy when perhaps she needs it the most. I'm Anna Gorman in Beverly Hills. Anna Gorman is with our